Good morning. It's 9.30 and we're already dressed and at the park, which never happens. <laughs> it's like they know dad's gone. They're like, mom, you have to entertain us the entire time. I'm trying to see if I'm fitting in the camera. There's a mirror behind here. <laughs> Am I in the shot? Am I in the shot? Is this better? What's up guys? I am still here in Arizona. As you guys have seen, I've been looking for a place for us to live. David comes to my house at like noon, I think, or 12.30, and he's gonna sit with the kids while they hopefully sleep. Knock on some wood, I need some wood. Just use my brain. While I go to get a massage. Guess what? Tomorrow afternoon, you have an hour long massage. And a facial, guys, I've never had a facial in my entire life. Like, it's kinda cool, and I'm like, breaking out like a stressed out teenager over here um so it's gonna be really nice and then a massage like what i'm so excited for a massage ready set go boo boo she loves the swings now i go get you i go get you when we had left, we had stopped by a place and found a model of a house that we really, 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 really liked. There was going to be a quick move-in available, so we were working with them to get pre-approved, and we were feeling really, really good about it. I wanted to stop by the house and see what it was actually like, where it was located, because we had only seen the model house, and that's completely different. We wanted to actually go to the location. While I was there, I FaceTimed with Jenica, we talked about it, and we kind of felt like maybe we shouldn't rush into this, especially because we weren't in love with where it was exactly and everything else with the house. So then later that night, I FaceTimed Jenica, we were on the phone, we were talking and just discussing what we should do, what we felt like was the right decision. After talking for a while, we decided that it was probably best to just, you know, our main goal is just to get out here and to be living here. We decided to switch our focus back to just finding a rental home, the one that would be a good fit for at least a year. That way there's less pressure on us to find a house to buy. That's like a big commitment. And then personally, and I, I didn't say this to Jen on FaceTime or when we were on the phone, but I want her to be there and experience the whole home buying like experience, whether it's you know the good and the bad and the joy. I, I honestly feel like when we go to buy our house, it should feel rewarding. Like we work super hard for this. And Jen's entire life, she has wanted to live in a house that she could call her own. She didn't really experience that as a kid. And I always felt that security as a kid. Uh, my parents bought, a, bought their house, I lived in it, and I felt, you know, I didn't even think about it as a kid, right? So to me, it almost felt like it was like unfair that I was experiencing this without her in a way. So that's just like a side mark. That's like not why we made the entire situation. But in my mind, I was thinking this would be so much more enjoyable and fun with her as like a reward for the hard work that we've put into, into everything. So we were at the park and the little kids that Noah was playing with last night that he got along really well with were here this morning. And oh my goodness, Noah noticed someone was like running up to them. And then the little boy saw Noah and was like, my friend, my friend. And then he like jumps off the playground and it's like, amigo, amigo. And, it was, and like gave, ran over and gave Noah a big hug. And of course they started playing monster again. But it was like the cutest thing I'd ever seen. Cause sometimes it's hard for Noah to make friends in the playground. Sometimes there's just clashing uh, personalities, you know? But lately he's gotten along with a lot of kids at the park. Which makes me very happy and proud, mama. Sorry. Riding a bike. Anyway, I'm proud that I'm proud of Noah. He's come a long way with making friends at the park and understanding that everyone just wants to play, you know? Daddy. Uncle Deed's here. Daddy. We're just coloring. Daddy, use this one. Okay. I was trying to do dot to dots and have Noah trace them, but he didn't really understand the concept, so I kinda helped him. <laughs> He's not a huge fan of that quite I yet. Do, I do so he's just coloring. Yeah. Beautiful. What a he's gaming. Ah. Beautiful. And Noah is making pictures. Huh? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, oh, what's up? Good job. You did it right. Awesome. We've decided that we're going to rent a house. When we were thinking about buying, it wasn't just like, oh, we want to buy a house. We were putting a ton, ton of time behind the vlogs. So I decided to go check out another house that was available for rent. 
and this is that house. because there was another one that caught my eye and I actually have not recorded anything in it yet, but I did submit an application and we are currently waiting to hear whether it would be ours. If we do get it, we'll be moving out here probably in the next three weeks, maybe four, three or four weeks, I think. Fingers crossed it works out because the one we had originally tried to get, we were like three people behind and we didn't. But this one I actually feel like might fit us even better and I can't wait to, for you guys to see it if we do get it. Look what daddy ordered. <gasps> what is it? Maui book. It's Moana. That is so cute. They made I a love Mona. Moana little, little, what's it called? Little gold book. That movie is so good. Wait, are you being serious or joking? No, I'm serious. I know, I it is good. Colorado, Paige made me watch it. And I like, hated that I loved it. Yeah, they watch it almost every day. Everyone hates that I say Mona. Yeah, it's Moana. I know. Moana. Moana. What do you say to Daddy? I'm pretty sure that's a surprise from Daddy. Maui. What do you say? No, it's worse. This mess is what Sis did in the time I was gone. <laughs> and he did nothing to stop it. Just kidding. That is so cool. Thanks, Dad. Guys, I got back from my facial massage like an hour ago, maybe. <sighs> it's amazing. You moms and dads out there, I need to treat yourself to a massage or a facial or something. It was awesome. I feel like my skin, well, we were outside for a little bit, so I'm a little sweaty now, but man, it was relaxing. Thanks, Sam. It's so good. And thanks, Date. We're watching the children. Sissy's reading the book. That's such good reading. Are you reading it? Is that Moana? I think this is going to be her favorite book. She's reading it to herself. Should we read it? That was actually like the greatest thing though because Noah was like, okay, I'm done reading this and threw it over here and then she like wobbled over, like picked it up and just squatted there. Started, started reading, reading it. it. You're so cute. <laughs> You're pretty cute too. <laughs> Since Deet's show me here. That oh yeah. <gasps> I need to show everyone that picture. So Deet's here and whenever there's an adult male figure besides his dad, he has to copy something about them. Deet's wearing a hat. So no, I was wearing a hat. Okay, funny story. My dad texted me a picture a couple days ago of my little brother, and I just freaked out. I was gonna post it to my Instagram, but I just haven't yet. It's David as a little boy, and it's just like, it looks like Noah. Let me try and zoom in on it. And what did I tell you when before Noah was born? When I found out I was having a boy, what did I tell you? I called you up. He was gonna look just like me. Yeah. Literally, I had like, the craziest dream about Noah before he was born, and I was like, oh my gosh, this little kid's gonna come out looking just like David, and I was right. Just less beard. Just, but just look at this picture. I showed it to Noah, and he thought it was Noah. He thought it was himself. I'm like, Noah, who is this? Noah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can see that from this weird angle right here. Come on. Look at this picture of David. This is David, not Noah. Can you believe that? They have the same hair, similar features. Maybe. Noah's lips are a little bigger, but that's really the only difference. Can you believe this? Look at his face. I don't know who the little girl is. I'll try to zoom in on. Look at that. Isn't that insane? It looks just like Noah. Hey, let me see your face now. Yeah, that's crazy. Want to know it's a really funny story that you showed this to Noah and Noah thought it was him? Uh -huh. When we lived in the uh, apartment complex when we were little, really little by Rancho across mm -hmm. from the church, mm -hmm. when mom and dad were like on opposite uh -huh. ends, um, there, was, um, there was a picture in the, in the apartment uh -huh. of, in dad's room 
hanging on the wall of him wearing a white t-shirt, white short shorts, white socks, and white shoes on a green grass lawn out front uh -huh. of the house. And at this time, I was like, I don't, I don't even know how old I was. Oh, that's, that, that looked aggressive. <laughs> but um, I look at the wall and I was like, hey, dad, when we take this picture of me? And he, he goes, no, bonehead, that's me. Like, what are you talking about? When he was little? Yeah. yeah. When he was like, I don't even know, like 10, 12. Yeah. But he was like a couple years older than I was at the time. And I was like, yeah. whoa, when we take this picture of me, what house is that? And he was like, dude, that's me from when I was your age. And I was like, oh, snap. And I just thought that was really yeah. ironic. Because no one crazy? did the same thing. I was like, why don't we take this picture of me? So you look just like dad. Well, and you look a lot like Bello. Yeah. David looks a lot like my grandpa. At, and when I have a very clean shaven face, at some angles, I look like Marcos too. Yeah, that's true. You look a lot like We him. all, just the Guerreros just look have very similar blood. <laughs> yeah. Noah was just Noah a looks rare, just like a you. rare occasion. <laughs> Whatever, you mean Penelope? Penelope? We You're were talking, talking about, about Penelope. Get your dog out of this. What are you talking about? Hey. Noah does look like a Guerrero. No, okay, I wish we could. Do he looks I wish just there was like live you. action instant replays because I really want to know what I said like exactly so I could I could remember <laughs> what I was trying well, to Sam, say. Sam, uh, repeat it. <laughs> just the Guerreros just look have very similar blood. Yeah. Noah was just Noah some looks rare, just like you. A rare occasion. Um, yeah, I have no idea what you were trying to say. Anyway, <laughs> Noah. Looks just like you. Oh, because he's technically an Anderson, not a Guerrero. That's right, but he. Oh, okay, okay, right. yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you do. That's where I was yelling. Long he got short. my. He got my Guerrero that, coloring and stuff. That full boy chance game. <laughs> and then this little girl got Anderson. Huh? All that Anderson Denning blood. Huh? You're blonde, just like all of Sam's cousins. Oh, there's so, so Sam's dad's side of the family. Oh no! I dropped the cap under there. They're all blonde, blue-eyed, and PJ oh. looks like she just fits uh -oh, in over PJ, there really well. I know she looks silly that now. I opened it for her. Oh, Is it, was it yours? I stole it from. She stole it from you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was talking to Sam earlier today, he's like, hey, "Let me order you guys pizza tonight," and I was like, "No, it's okay. I have some stuff I need to make." Um, but now after having that massage and feeling so relaxed, I just do not want to cook. So we are gonna order some hot and ready's or go pick up some hot and ready's. She only wants water bottles now, guys, and she jumps dumps half of it all over herself. And also, I was just saying, commenting about how Penelope looks like Sam's dad's side of the family, but she also looks like my mom, like a ton. Like I was looking at pictures of my mom, but she looks kind of similar to mom. Like my mom was very fair and has like green eyes and stuff, and so it's kind of funny. She looks more like my mom. I love seeing pictures of our parents as little babies. Although, Sam as a little baby, there's a picture in his parents' room of him as a baby and he looks just like Penelope. I don't know if we, did I film that? I don't know, but it was crazy. We are here getting some snow cones tonight. I just mowed the lawn and it was a rigorous task, let me tell you. Uh, we're gonna get a snow cone. David just ran down to get a drink. And then, hey, hey, get back here. We're gonna hang out a little, little bit. I think we're gonna drop David off at home and then maybe go to a new park tonight. Hey, you wanna come get your snow cone? Tiger's one pop. Ooh. Ooh, two hands, two hands, two hands. Ooh, wow, buddy. Does that look good? Is that the one I got last time? No, it's Pog and Tiger's blood. Oh. Like passion fruit, orange, mango or oh, something. okay, yeah. That's wow. Like almost the exact same thing. I wanna see you take a bite of that. How's it taste? Good? Yeah. Yeah? Run, sis! Come on, run! Her running is the funniest thing. Run, run, run! She's trying so hard. Run, run, run! Oops. Run, 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 run sissy! Over here, come on! You can do Oh! <laughs> you can do it! You can do it! Help you get down. <laughs> Boop. What? Come on, this way. This way. <laughs> She's so happy after that snow cone. <laughs> All that sugar. Are you so happy? <laughs> Why are you so cute? I just can't handle you. The park. 
I love editing the footage of Jen and the kids. It's so much fun when I'm not there. I actually see what's going on and I just, uh, I miss them so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good night, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Now they are to say congratulations. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs>